Welcome to Seven Trumpets Prepper, and in this video today, I'm going to show you an outstanding device that may save your life one day. This is a pocket Geiger meter that will hook into your iPhone. Now, not only this, but this company sells them where that they will also work for your Android device as well. But in the video we're doing today is for your iPhone, iPad, or iPod. Okay, and now right there, you can check them out at that website link right there, mlcinc2012.com. And that is for Medical Physics Consultant. And this company is an authorized, the only authorized U.S. dealer uh, for radiation watch equipment. And this pocket Geiger is amazing. They came up with this after Fukushima to help people uh, be more aware of their radiation exposure and help save lives. So with that said, let's take a look at it now. So to begin with on this review, uh, I want to show you that they do pack it very nicely and rip this open here and see what we've got inside. This turns your iPhone, iPad, or iPod into a Geiger meter. It's got the nuclear symbol on it. Very nice packaging. And inside of it here. Pull this unit out, and now I'll hook this up to my iPhone here in just a minute. I just want to go over first off the unit. Very compact piece of equipment. There is the cable, and here it is. That, ladies and gentlemen, is so small it fits in the palm of my hand, but that right there is a nuclear radiation detection device. And this right here can most certainly and assuredly save your life one day. So with that said, I'm going to grab my cell phone, we're going to plug this up, and we're going to do a test on it. Okay, so to begin our process of installing the Pocket Geiger um, information onto our phone so that we can use it, you just go on to App Store and type in Pocket Geiger, and there is the light version, and then there is also a paid version. Um, that gives you a lot more um, information and everything, and I'll obviously update that um, here later. I'm just going to show you the light version for right now to get started. Is I've already downloaded it, so you would just you know click um, and make sure that you downloaded it properly and check that real quick. And there you go, we've got it downloaded. So now at this point, what you'll do is the next step. It says to uh, press the settings and go to music and turn off sound check and EQ so we'll do that right now so we'll go to our settings music and now we will turn off sound check so it's off already and the EQ is already off it's where that we updated to iOS uh, 7 so that's good to know okay now the next thing we're going to do it says to drag the volume limit slider to its rightmost position. So let me find it here. All right, we now have the volume over as far as it'll go from what I can tell here. So I'm going to back out of that and just double check right down here in uh, music one more time because I checked up in the other on sounds. It looks like we're golden. So now I'll go to the next step. And the you're going to go to settings and general and set accessibility as above. So we'll do that now. Let's see where accessibility is. Click general, accessibility, and we will turn the audio is centered and then mono audio off. It is off as well. So we're good on that. Now, step three is to remove the cover or whatever you have on your iPhone device. So I'm going to do that right now so that doesn't interfere with the unit itself. Connect the phone cable tightly to both your iOS device and the detector. The cable is exclusive to each model of the Pocket Geiger. So now what we're going to do is I'm going to pull up my Pocket Geiger app and now I'm going to undo the cable that was attached uh, together with the Geiger unit and then I'm going to plug that in to my iPhone 
device in the audio input. Okay, now the live version obviously has ads, I'm sure, without a doubt, the paid version doesn't. So now, I'm going to lay these together, as it says to do, just like so. I'm going to lay them right there. And the last um, notes on this says to put them on a stable place, such as a table um, or a chair if possible. Vibration, noise may spawn temporary suppression of the measurement. Now that we have the unit put together and plugged in uh, just as it states to do, now what we'll do is turn the unit on. I'm going to do that right now. And this is a Type 4. And now it's recording. And now it says you should measure for at least two minutes if you live in a low dose rate area. And we would most certainly hope that uh, we live in a low dose area. And the area right here tells you the CPM. And uh, the formula on that is given on this sheet right here while that's measuring. Um, here's some examples cited. It says that, um, for example, uh, point... 3-4 average individual background radiation dose for Americans um, like up here five of that is the highest dose rate measured in Finland during the Chernobyl disaster so I mean this sheet here uh, that come with the unit kind of gives uh, you an idea of uh, what that dose rate is and everything and so we'll just wait here in just a minute and see uh, what the results are and I'll show you here just shortly Okay, so I'm letting the unit run actually till five minutes. Um, it says to measure for at least two minutes, but I'm just going to let the thing run for five and until that comes up to 100% on the measurement unit. But uh, right here when I was reading off that sheet earlier, this is early dose examples. Okay, now a person, it says, you know, here are some basic numbers to use as a guide. The average radiation you receive today, 10 units. Okay, I'm just going to say this in units. All right, the uh, radiation you receive during a dental x-ray um, is 100. Total radiation dose at Three Mile Island for the duration of that accident was 800. Um, right here's one. Average radiation a U.S. citizen receives in a year from all sources is 3,600. All right, so, I mean, this kind of gives you an idea. Uh, and anyway, we are nearing the end of this. And... For example, right here we just seen a moment ago uh, 10, the average radiation you received today. So we're coming to the end of this and it looks like we're well under that. So I think that we're going to be golden. But it's always better to be safe than sorry. And to have one of these is going to be super important later down the road because as much danger that's out there nowadays, especially after Fukushima, it just goes to show you that disaster can strike at any time. So guys, I hope that you enjoyed this review. This is just an outstanding, amazing piece of equipment for us, especially that are preppers. Because this right here can most assuredly save your life one day. It's very compact. It can go in your bug out bag. You, I mean, you can put this thing away and not even think about it until you need it. And I hope you would never have to use it. But now you have the ability to use it without having to pay a fortune for a super expensive Geiger meter. I mean, this is something you can have for practically less than $100 right at it and it can save your life one day. Make sure to check these guys out at www.mlcinc2012.com. They are the only American uh, licensed redistributor for this product here in the U.S. Um, those that come up with this unit in Japan after Fukushima, just amazing invention, and I'm so glad that we can have this product around the world as well because this is something worthwhile. So I hope you enjoyed this review, and until we see you again here at Seven Trumpets Prepper Channel, I hope you have a most blessed day in Yahushua name.